let us take two people jack and jill let us say both of them have determined that they will wake up every day early in the morning at 5 am and they will go for a morning walk for about half an hour so this is what both of them have decided individually and independently so next day jack and jill both of them went for half an hour walk every, every day they were doing the same but one day the weather was not good outside it was very cold so jack decided that because it is very cold he did not go outside whereas jill because he was determined he went for a morning walk so likewise in the next day also the weather was not good so jack restrained himself from going for a morning walk whereas jill again he went in spite of weather being bad so if you compare these two people jack and jill who do you think will achieve more in his life or whatever he has determined to do of course jill will achieve more and because he determined to do irrespective of the circumstances whereas jack only when the conditions are favorable to him he will do the things accordingly so the chances of success of jill achieving more are very very high compared to jack so in this story we can see both jack and jill both of them have the willingness to go for a morning walk every day but it is jill who is more determined and who is actually acting on his willingness rather than depending on the circumstances whereas jack is also willing to do but then depending on the circumstances he sometimes stopping himself or restraining himself from doing those things so what so what i want to convey is so willingness enough is not sufficient whereas we must be able to act on it every day there was a great quote said by bruce lee who is a famous martial artist he said that knowing is not enough we must act willingness is not enough we must do so it is the willingness and followed by the appropriate actions that determines whether you will remain as an aspirant or you will become an achiever in life only those people who act on the things which other people don't are the ones who achieve success achievers do the things which aspirants don't want to do so this is what differentiates between those two aspirants depending on the circumstances they sometimes pull themselves back whereas achievers doesn't depend on the circumstances they just do what they have decided to do if this video was helpful to you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for some more amazing videos and thank you for watching